What's up guys, G Martin here. Most of you know me from my drone videos which I put out all the time on YouTube. Those are tutorials, tricks, and so on. Today's gonna be a little different. Today I'm gonna look into my laptop which I've had for about eight months now. Got some decent usage out of it and I'm gonna talk all about it today. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. If you've been watching for a while now, Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking all about the Lenovo Y520, including the features, the specs, how well it runs, portability, and etc. Let's not waste any time, let's jump straight into this. The price of this laptop currently on Amazon is $1,000, which is a very good deal at the moment, as it is normally $1,300. As for the internals of this laptop, it features an Intel quad-core i7 7700HQ, which can turbo up to 3.8 gigahertz. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a dedicated graphics card, which is a 1050Ti, 4GB, a 256GB solid state drive, along with a 2TB hard drive. And this is actually very nice, it has a lot of storage for the price of this. Now for the build of this laptop. It features a backlit keyboard with two different lighting settings. I normally keep it on the highest one because the, the lower one is too dim for my preference, but obviously it's up to your preference. If you like it dimmer, then put on the dimmer setting. The laptop features a number pad, which comes in handy for me personally, because I had a cat a lot on this computer, and I need a number pad so I can crunch numbers very quickly. Now for the keyboard test. The front deck itself has very little give, and it's not very noticeable during normal use, which is a very good thing. The keys do feel a little mushy though. I wish they were a bit stiffer, but I mean, for a thousand dollars, it does the job. I prefer to hook up an external keyboard, which I use pretty much most of the time when I'm using this laptop. I actually have it hooked up to that computer right behind me, but the keys themselves, they feel fine. The touchpad works very well, as it does include a feature where you can actually disable the touchpad, so when you're gaming, your thumb won't hit it and trigger some odd movement that you did not mean to you know, be in there. Now for the screen test. It does have a little bit of flex, but it's not very noticeable during use, which is very nice. The screen itself is a 1080p anti-glare display, it is 15.6 inches, and for the laptop, I think it's perfect. It does a great job at reducing sun glare, which is honestly what you want with something like this. Now for the ports of the laptop, if you look on the right side, you'll find an HDMI, two USB 3.0s, an SD card reader, and a micro USB port. On the left side, it includes an Ethernet port, USB 2.0, and an aux input. I use this all the time when I'm plugging headphones in so I can watch videos, edit, and game. Speaking of gaming, let's talk about how well this laptop performs. Since it does include a 1050 Ti, this computer can run most modern games at a mix of medium to high settings, and older games pretty much maxed out, which is very nice. And when I say maxed out, I mean it can run 60 FPS, very smooth. For the gaming test, I played four games. To start off, I played CSGO, which I got 180 frames per second, and this was maxed out settings. On Fortnite, I got 60 frames a second, and those were also maxed out. PUBG, I was playing a mix of medium to high settings, and I was getting 60 to 70 frames a second. And Rust, on high settings, I was getting 45 to 50 frames a second. Now for ending thoughts. You get a $1,000 well-built laptop, which includes a backlit keyboard, a 1080p screen, a dedicated graphics card which can play most games that you want it to play. It's well suited for daily use and professional use and gaming use. It's not very heavy and it's decently thin so you can take it with you most of the time. I think I'm going to be using this laptop most of the way through college and I truly believe it'll hold up for the years to come. That's going to wrap up this review guys. I'm G Martin. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like it, Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. So, peace.